So at the moment, it's quite distinctive when you open a lightning channel, it's a two of two. Even if you can't see that on the Peta witness script hash side, when it's spent, even a mutual close, um, you, will, you will see, oh, it's a two of two. It's probably almost certainly a lightning channel, right? Uh, whereas with Taproot, of course, uh, and Musig, that becomes indistinguishable from any other spend. So in the case where the lightning channel doesn't break and you don't have to do unilateral close or anything, um, in the normal case where you close it, you know, normally, or, or, or you splice it out, you can't tell. Nobody could tell it's a lightning channel. Um, now, of course, a lot of lightning channels are, are public. So there's another layer of information. If you're actually looking at the lightning network, they will tell you, hey, this is a lightning channel. Okay, that's, that's you know, in that case, you know. Um, and the, even for private channels, which are badly named, basically unannounced channels, there are ways of probing and finding out what those channels are, which is one of the things that we're working on. So it's not as private as we would like, but one of the steps is making it more private on chain would definitely, you know, win across the board. And yeah, you would definitely have these octopus transactions, which of about which you would know very little. <laughs>